are back with another one, man. We are 4 0 going against Kentucky, and we kicking off the game with a sack. Now, we up 10 to nothing. We go ahead and get a big hit on the quarterback. Now, Billy Napier, like I said at the beginning of the video, been under this series, <laughs> we got our first career pick six. You love to see it, bro. You lo I love the role that Billy Napier and the defensive coordinator has this kid playing. Versatile linebacker, edge rusher, safety, nickel corner. He does it all. Right here, we get another tackle. The receiver picks up nine yards. Second and seven. We up 20 to nothing. And that is intercepted. Can we get a pick? Since we cannot, we end up thumping Kentucky. Not really a game, but we get our first career pick six. 5-0 and against number 10, 4-0 LSU. We starting off that boy, Jackson. Taking the running back for a four-yard loss. And right here, the quarterback trying to keep it. And no, sir, this defense is locked in. Now it's our turn to get a big hit on that QB. That boy is key on his height. Rifle his head as he should. And that is intercepted by Wingo, the linebacker. It's still a close game, man. It's definitely a close game. We get a TFL right there first and goal. And we tried to get over that to our person, but we could not. And they tied the ball game up, but we end up, the offense ended up running away with it. And then down goes the quarterback, man. We up 24 to 14. And when you have an offense that can put up points with this defense, you just definitely love to see it. We got a blitz off the edge and another big hit on the Q to be. The teammates could congratulate that boy Keon, man. He has definitely been a difference maker. We get another sack, and we pull off the huge upset. We get five tackles, three titles for loss, and we end up winning that game 24 to 14. Now, jumping ahead, we are now ranked number 18 in the country. Not really doing much again. We had one tackle, one tackle for loss, but we end up winning kind of a close game 20 to 10 against Vanderbilt. 7 0. We are ranked in the top 10 going against 2 and 3 Missouri. We get a start off the game with a, the TFL. Second and four, and that is intercepted. This dude is special. Bro, last year, six and six, seven wins, bowl game. This year, undefeated. This dude is definitely the leader of this team. Most definitely. A pitch play right there. You know the shirt tackling boy, Keon, gonna make a play. And that is intercepted. One of the best defense in the nation, bro. We are on a route against Missouri. As we get another tackle right there, we up 35 to nothing, but they are marching third and goal. And off of the middle, and why wouldn't you block the best player on this defense? Definitely a straight line shot to the running back. You can't make that up. And right here, that is called we cannot shut them out, but we end up winning big, man. You see the stats. On to another game, and we end up winning that game 38 to 7. This is the game, bro. This is the game of all games for us. We are 6 and 2. We number 5 in the country. We blitzing off the edge, and we make a tackle, and that prevent a first down. Right here, we get another tackle on the running back, but he picks up a first down. 30 10, blitz off the edge. We get another TFL. We are 24 to 7. This offense is. We get another tackle, but this offense is definitely pulling up points, man. You definitely just love to see it, right? We get another tackle on that boy, Lad McCockney. And right here, we get an interception. The third. Third pick six so far this series, bro. This game, this this video, man, you definitely love to see it. You see the stats, right, man? We just continue to blossom. Into something great. We got the, the sweet uniforms, bro. We number four in the country, nine and no. This is one of the games where you just you know you're gonna win, but you still just wanna get everybody they, they, you know they playing time. You you know what I mean? But when this winning streak going on, can we continue play to play as a team? Jail together. Right now we number four in the country, but that doesn't mean nothing. Our next game could we could take an air, but we end up running away with the game right from the four two four tackles, one TFL. 51 to nothing. Let's keep it rolling. Get 72 in South Carolina. We still remain number four in the country as we get our first tackle of the game. 
The running back picks up to 17 to nothing, second and eight. Look at the hustle of this dude. Clear across the field to make a tackle, man. That's hustle and determination by this kid. And throughout this video, throughout this series, you will see this guy lining up at, you know, safety, nickel corner, linebacker on the edge. This dude's a, definitely a true definition of a Swiss Army knife. Not really much action going on in that game. We got six total tackles, and that was it. I won the streak of teams, man. 38 to 10. 11 and 0, number two in the country, taking on the Florida State Seminoles. As we get the tackle, we up three to nothing this game, first and 10. Definitely got to watch out for the speed, Asha, as we make it amazing tackle right there. They definitely would have been six if we definitely would not have made that tackle. And they going to try us. The fourth interception in this video. The last four or five games, four interceptions. This dude is special. Fourth and 13 to keep the hopes alive. It be a monster hit on that corner, on the receiver. Yeah, right here, he, Travis ended up picking number first down, but this game is good as one. 16 to 7. Not really a explosive offense that as we would like, but that is interception, and that is definitely going to do it. As there was a last chance for, you know, some kind of spoil, you know, upset alert. But rightfully, we barely squeaked by. We end up winning 16 to 7. The national championship game against AM. I mean the SEC championship. And we start off with a interception. That boy definitely, definitely been watching Franklin, man. AKA T Top. I don't know how to do them interception, bro. He's definitely, he's definitely the goal. And so is I am all guys. And, and the quarterback ain't up coughing at up. K. He return it for a fumble touchdown. And he do. We are routing. Everybody that gets in our way, and that is intercepted by Marshall. <laughs> Let's go. And he would turn it in for a touchdown, bro, as we end up winning the SEC championship. A long time coming, bro. <laughs> definitely a long time coming for this team. You definitely love to see it. From what we came last year, the recruits they brought in, you know, Keon got in the transfer portal. Bro, this, this team is is definitely went from the laughing stock to, you know, <laughs> a team to take very serious. It's Graham Mercy player of the game in the SEC championship game. But that's not all if you made it this far in the video, man. A, a twist for the turn at the end of this video, man. A big shout out to PFG, play for real game, and no cap Shaq, a.k.a. no cap Shaq, man. He's in this video, man. But do not exit the video, man. It's more coming at you right now. Here we are in the national championship game. This is a special moment for this team. The Florida Gators, number one in the country, taking on number two, 13 in old Penn State. The last time they was at this kind of level of competition was Tim Tebow played. So it is for a bittersweet moment, and we're going to definitely soak up this moment and definitely play together as a team. Now, y'all know this kid backstory. Know what he has lost? His father. He's day one. Yet, here this kid is. He's one of the best in the nation. It's crazy to see how far this kid has come. Going to Division Two, Had a great season in the transfer portal. Ended up winning all his options. And that's how he ended up at Florida. It's one of the best, if not the best player in the nation out here making plays at the end of three quarters. <sighs> this is bittersweet for this team. Fourth and 10, up by 21, and we give up a play. But you know what? That is definitely okay with us. Because even if they score, we can declare ourselves national champions and nobody can take that away from this team i mean nobody it's bittersweet that it was winning the national championship a lot of lows as of late it's been a lot of highs big moment special moment and to be a part of this it's just bittersweet now, as fortunate it is to win a national championship like i see 
It was a lot of highs, a lot of lows. But now, make a turn for the worse. Say, bro, when was the last time you talked to your mom? Bro, she was just at the game, man. Probably about a couple hours ago. Why? Well, I hate to be the one to give you the bad news, but those same people that you retaliated against, well, they got their payback again, but this time it's your mom's. Bro, what the f***? At this point, I truly feel like this football stuff is out the window at this point. Things have been taken entirely too far. I can't give a damn about this national championship, football in general. I lost a father, my day one. Now my mother? Nah. I got to handle this shit on my own. I can see. At this point, I'm not thinking about absolutely nothing but blood. For them to do this? <sighs> Revenge is all that's on my mind. Point, I got one of two choices. Choice one, put an end to all this and really put down the man that really did this to my mother. On the flip side, if I do that, I'm gonna be throwing everything that I worked so hard for. So, do I risk my career? Yes or no? Y'all let me know. Different choices will have different outcomes. See y'all on the next episode.